This is the new Marex 330. This is a fascinating boat. The engineering that goes into this is absolutely brilliant. The most important thing to understand about this is just how incredibly practical they are. Now you can see at the minute it's all closed up and the most interesting thing about it I think is this canopy system. So we're going to start with that, we're going to open the whole boat up for you and then give you a full tour. This I think you are going to enjoy. Now Marex are a Norwegian company and those guys are all about practicality and making boating easy and quick to access and it starts right here you can see all the canopies are on at the minute you might have seen something similar to this before but they've refined it on this one the way that these canopies fold away so you can see i've unzipped it here to begin with i just need to undo that one as well actually there we go and with this they used to have little clips all the way around the bottom to undo them now they've got this tensioning system underneath here so that one just releases like that and there's another one here that releases again it just tensions it up and that's it that's all undone now so that's stage one. Stage two is to go up onto these side decks, open this little fella here, and then all of this just curtains away. And there it is, job done. We can do the same on the other side. And you can see how quickly that opens up this cockpit area. So this one, similar deal, come around here. You can see the release right there. Open that, and then that all pulls. And that's it. We now have a completely open cockpit area. And there's a door here. If we find the release, Bob is your mother's brother. And that's not all, because if we look up here, you can see it's got this section up above. If we open that like that and give it a twist, That slides over like that. We can do the same thing in here. There we go. Amazing. Completely open. Okay, let's start right back here and I'll give you the tour of the entire boat. Most of this is pretty straightforward. You can see you've got a big donut area around this table. That table is actually telescopic, so you can drop that down if you want to. You can also open it right out, and then you can sit all the way around for dining. That's really nice. And look at the construction of this. The quality on these is amazing. These boats take about three months to build, so they really are completely hand-built to a really high standard. So that's like that. There's also storage then hidden away underneath like place like this. Each of these has got a little gas strut on it, but you can see again, look how well lined that is. That's a manual bilge pump there, so that's a backup bilge pump. Engine access is under the floor. We'll come back to that, of course. But let's head on inside. So right here, you've got the sliding door. So that one comes across and you can click it into different positions. So you just want a little bit of ventilation, you can have it. So that is how you completely enclose that deck saloon area. Slide it open as we had it a moment ago. And that then links this all the way through. If we head into here now, you can see we've got an inside dinette area. This little stool, there's a pin. We can lift that, it'll be a two-handed job. There we go. And then that pulls out like so. So you can sit on the end of the table if you want to. And another neat thing then is when the boat is underway, you can tilt that one back like so. And then this whole thing here will drop back 
You can see the base raises up as well. And now you've got seating next to the helm. So when you're underway, you've got seating for two or three people here. Whoever's driving is sat there. You've got more forward-facing seating there. It's a really comfortable place to be when this boat is out and cruising. Over on this side then is the galley. Two burner hob. The oven is underneath. Isn't it all nice and brand new? I do like looking at brand new boats. Uh, sink is underneath that one, like so. This is switches for lights and you've got power there. And that one there I think is a little aerial socket as well. So if you want to put a TV on here, just pop it on there, you can do. This then is all drawers underneath here, all soft clothes, like so. That one there is for your cutlery. And then the fridge is underneath here as well. So that's actually underneath the helm seat. So really nice size. So that is that. If we come right up to the helm then, this is a new thing for Marix and it's really nice. Side opening door. So you can drop that one back. Again, it's all so easy to use, isn't it? And now inside of the helm, you've got that open, you've got the roof open. It just makes for a really open air experience, but the sort of thing as we saw, that you can open and close really easily. There's a lift bolster on the seat, so if you want to sit and drive, which is what you would normally do, you can drop that down like that, but by lifting it, of course, it just makes it so much easier to use that side door. And then over here at the helm, what have we got? This one is the multifunction display. Raymarine, like so. VHF radio is here as well. Engine instrumentation, that's up above, so you've got your earth counter, you've got your uh, fuel, you've got your uh, oil pressure, all that kind of stuff, that's all up there. That one is the Fusion Stereo, so that lives down underneath there. And if we move on down, then this is all the switch gear here, so things like the water system, the horn, pumps, wipers, nav lights, all that kind of stuff is all switched there. That's a bow thruster control, a bit more switch gear over on this side, and then that is your throttle. It's a single engine on this one, we will talk about engines of course in a little while. And then the buttons for trim assist and so forth. That actually does the power trim for you automatically. And engine start stop is down here. And that one there then is the actual battery switches. These are quite neat because you just slide these over. If you want to turn the engine ones on, you have to flick that down and then press it on. You can't accidentally push it on by mistake. And that one there is trim tabs. So that levels the boat side to side when she's planing. So that is the helm. A lot of we've done this all in this lovely low glare material so it's non-reflective that's really good very very sensible and then if we come on down because we've got the galley up there on the main deck we can come down to the lower deck and we will find two really nice cabins so if we look into here we've got the forward cabin massive massive double bed in here I mean look at that it's just huge isn't it big windows in here as well we're at Sultan's Marina at the minute, which is where Wessex Marine are, who are the UK dealers for these. You can see there is a hatch up ahead. There's some bed cushions on here at the minute. That's why we've got no light coming through there. But there are blinds, as you can see, that slide across. Lots of trick lighting in around the place. In fact, I must show you that in the cockpit as well. That's really rather nice. Over here, then, is a hanging locker and a load of storage. So that's all tucked away behind there. And again, nice lighting details. You can see it here in behind the mirror, so it lights up. This is actually slightly proud, and it lights up all the way around. That's a nice touch. Also, you notice up above, there's translucent skylights, so you've got a bit more light shining into this area. If we come out of here, we can drop back and find another cabin in here. And again, there's a huge double bed in here. This runs back underneath that main deck area. So up here, that is used twice, because underneath there, is this, again, absolutely enormous double bed. You've got opening window over on that side. And if you spin around, you've got another one on this side as well. So you can get plenty of ventilation into there. Um, and that, yeah, it's just a really nice usable area. You've got more headroom at this end, of course, is where your head would be, because that's the moulding underneath the seating up above us. And then, as I say, it drops down across and your feet would go at that end. Storage in here as well. So similar deal to what we saw in the forward cabin so that just opens up with shelves and a hanging locker and where I'm at the minute we've actually got standing headroom so you can see that's where that main deck area starts and so just here comes the headroom again another one of those translucent hatches 
give a bit more light into here. And then the other thing we find on this level is the heads. So that's down in here. Again, they've been really clever with the packaging because you've got the toilet at this end, and you've got your sink, you've got really nice big window in here again, like that. Of course, there are curtains that come across here for a bit of privacy. And then they've put the shower around over at this end, but tucked it back in this way so that you can step down because, of course, the hull is a V shape. So it just gives you a bit more height in the shower. It means that even if you're six foot four, you can stand in there and shower properly. Very neat packaging, little shelves here for bits and pieces. Fantastic. So that is the lower deck, that's the interior of the boat. We're going to take a look around the outside and we will, let's close these doors, talk about engines as well. This is walnut wood in this one, incidentally. They do teak as standard and this walnut is then an upgrade. It looks really nice, I have to say. So I think we will take advantage of that side access door at the helm to step straight out of here. Nice high rails on this one as you come out, so you feel nice and protected. Another thing worth mentioning as well, look how thin these mullions are here, so that when you are at the helm, just duck back in, you have a very uninterrupted view. That's really good. And another nice touch is putting this throttle right here because you can actually, if you're coming into dock, you could stand out here and you can reach the wheel and you can reach the throttle. So if you're shorthanded, that's a nice touch. We'll head forward. Sunbathing cushions on this one. This is over that hatch that we saw in the forward cabin. And if we come right on around then. Oh, nice Bentley, sir. Love those. Continental GT, beautiful. One day. That one there, oh there we go, if I don't stand on it, it opens quite easily. So what you've got here is the anchor is actually concealed into the stem rather than hanging over the front. You can see it there as well of course. Stainless steel anchor on this one which is nice. And then the anchor chain locker is down here, you can see the winch down there as well. So that is that fellow. Let's drop that back down. There we go. And if we carry on around this side, I love details like these beautiful wooden grab rails that they put on here, that's really nice. And then this is back down this side, that's that sliding roof that we opened from inside. Decently wide side decks considering the size of the boat. These are these doors that the canopy stores in. I must show you this as well, this is a nice touch. Come right back here. That is Fender storage, so they can drop into there vertically out of the way. And in fact, they've even put a little cut out here so the back one, you don't even have to untie it, just lift it up, flop it in. Perfect. Lots of little areas they've used actually. Look at this one here, little storage area. That's to plug your um, Ensign staff in for your flag. And this is nice. This is a fold out seat. So you just pull that like that, that drops over. And that gives you something to sit on the back of the boat. It's a really nice place to be when you're at anchor because you're looking out over the water. The other thing you might have spotted in here as well, deck shower. So that pulls out like so. And the other thing to show you just while we're out on the bathing platform is this is the boarding ladder. So that's there ready to go. Let's head on around here. That's another of those fender lockers. I want to show you this if we can see it. Probably should have shown this while the cover was still on actually, but underneath here, can you see the lighting? Let me come around to this side. <laughs> actually, hopefully it's flickering slightly. It's not doing that in real life. That's just because of the camera. But yeah, there's low level lighting under these handrails all the way around. That's so nice at night. In fact, the lighting generally in here, you can see it up in these sections here. You can see it in the roof. It's really nicely done. There we go. It's even underneath these palmets down along here. And in fact, I'll just show you as well, since we're at this area, up on the top then, that is things like the horn, nav lights, antenna. If you wanted a radar, that would live up there and so forth. So let's talk about engines. If we come back here, this one will open up. Again, if I'm not still on it, there we go. 
and this takes us down to the engine space. So we'll step down here. This again is where you really see the quarter of these boats. Look at the way they've done this aluminium tread plating across here. All the wiring is neatly situated across here. Battery banks, that's down over there. Again, nicely lit. And if I reverse myself into this corner, you'll be able to see the engine. There we go. That is a Volvo Penta D6 440. So 440 horsepower. It's come right around this side. And that is giving the boat probably mid 30s flat out, about 35 knots, cruising mid 20s, you know, 22 to 26, somewhere around there. Now, they do do a twin engine option. You can have D3220s, which of course is exactly half the power. So you still get your 440 horsepower, but through two engines. And in fact, there's a Mercury option as well. You can have Mercury 270 horsepower diesels if you prefer. Most people are going with a single diesel because, of course, it keeps the maintenance cost down, keeps the running cost down, fuel consumption is better because you're only putting a single outdrive through the water, not two. And it's a, just a bigger, smoother engine than the little four-cylinder ones. So of all the boats, certainly that the UK dealer has sold, they've all gone out with that D6 440 in it. Range on that, you're looking probably a couple hundred miles at planing speeds. But look at the finish in here. Everything's so smooth and flow coated. Everything can be got at. The silver stuff is all sound deadening. Very nice indeed. So there we go. That's the oily bits. It's all lovely and new, isn't it? I do love looking at brand new boats. That's that battery bank. Superb. That's the heater system up over there. Diesel fired central heating. Okay. Let's reverse back out of here. And back up. And we can walk up this ladder to the helm, I think. No, let's just sit up here. This looks comfy. There we go. So that's it. That's the Marex 330. I think that's a really brilliant and very very interesting and super practical boat let me know what you think of that one in the comments huge thanks to you guys for watching and huge thanks to the dealer wessex marine for organizing the tour and we will look forward to catching on another one of these real soon take care bye bye